Hey guys, how's it going? It's Target here, coming at you with another player build. This time we're going to be doing Brendan Gallagher of the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, Brendan Gallagher is an interesting player because out of so out of the requests so far, uh, Gallagher is one of the players who's actually rated um, in a range that we can achieve. So you'll find that with Gallagher we can get, a, I think I got all of his attributes minus the slap shot category. Uh, to exactly what Brendan Gallagher is in the game. So first things first, let's go to my pro here. Let's go to the hockey shop. Maybe, yeah, let's do the hockey shop first. Uh, Brendan Gallagher is a right wing, so I put him in the right wing the way he should be. So plus five wrist shot power, plus five offensive awareness, and plus five wrist shot accuracy, plus five speed, plus three speed, plus five acceleration. Then we have plus five agility, plus three agility, and plus five durability, plus five passing, plus five deking, and whoop, and plus five puck control. Uh, if you do want to use this build in the game, I would suggest taking the plus five off the durability. Don't put it there. Put it into something a little bit more useful, maybe another, like a plus three into acceleration. Give yourself a little bit of a boost there, or another shooting category. Uh, you really don't need it, but I'm, again, I'm building this build so that it's identical to Brendan Gallagher. I'm not saying that this build is the best one in the world. I'm just saying that, uh, you know, it, this is how Brendan is in the game. Uh, before we go on any further, make sure you guys vote for the Be A GM Series 4. Uh, we're currently in the second round of voting. There's a total of three rounds. Right now, the voting is over on May 21st at midnight, so make sure you cast your votes before then. Uh, and then the final will be another two-week period uh, of voting between two candidates, and then we'll decide who it is, and we'll finish with Carolina, and then take over from there once we're done. All right, back to the build now. Uh, let's go to Edit Pro now. Let's analyze exactly how he looks. Now, he's he doesn't look as close to Brendan Gallagher as, say, um, we got as close to Tyler Sagan, but he looks pretty close in terms of... Let's go through the equipment first, though. He uses a Bauer Supreme Total 1. I put on the 90 regular flex and mid neutral for the curve. You guys can do what you want, but that's how he is in the game. Uh, skates, the Bauer Vapor APX, 11-inch radius. Again, you can choose how you want that to be. I always choose the 11s for bount for just a nice uh, you know, combination. If I'm a hitting build, I'll put it at 13s, but for the most part, just 11s. Gloves, Bauer Vapor APX Pros, sure, and helmet, he uses the Bauer 9900, all right, so let's go on to the information, Brendan Gallagher, number 73, 5 foot 9, 170 pounds, uh, so for the how he looks, all right, obviously gender male, head type custom, shape, head 4, skin tone 2, hairstyle short and wavy, hair color brown, facial hair none, Facial hair color, I've got it as black from one of my other builds. Uh, eyebrow, regular two. Eyebrow color brown. Eye color hazel. No black eyes, no scars, and no freckles. Uh, straight bower for the visor. The visor tint is clear. Big shoulder pads, long pants. Right side jersey tuck, that's a pretty distinct look for Brennan Gallagher. So that's kind of a nice one I like to have is that uh, jersey tuck. It looks cool. Sock tuck, it's totally full for Brendan Gallagher, and the stick tape is black. So that is it for his appearance. I think he looks pretty similar to Brendan Gallagher. I didn't do too, too bad. They really don't have any... I think the big thing with his build is his hair. It's completely different from the from how he actually looks. They really didn't do too much in terms of adding hair options. Like, there's no medium length. They've just got long slicked. Uh, I can't remember all the other ones. Long wavy. So... There's really not much. All right, let's stop delaying the inevitable here. Let's get to the edit attributes. And I will show you exactly how Brendan Gallagher stacks up. Again, just like the last two videos on the right side is actually the what his actual rating is. Okay, so deking 83, hand-eye 83, offensive awareness 85, passing 85, puck control 86, leave slap shot stock, and then 84 for both wrist shot accuracy and power. Uh, some things that people might have concern with. Deking at 83. Is it going to be enough? Um, yeah, I definitely think so. I think you'll be able to do a lot with 83. If you have concerns with that, then I would say reducing 
I don't know. I really don't know what you'd reduce. I like his balance in the offensive category. Everything's mid-80s, just like Brendan Gallagher. Um, I like his offensive category, so I wouldn't change too much about it. I feel that you'll get good deking in with that. Um, oops, wrong person. Uh, defensive side here. Aggressiveness, 80. Body checking, 80. Defensive awareness, 82. Discipline, 70. Face-offs, stock, as well as fighting skill. Shot blocking at 77 and stick checking at 83. Uh, again, nice, good balance if you like to. Uh, one thing I might suggest is that you put the defensive awareness up as high as it can go. So that's, that is something if you wanted to take body checking off or aggressiveness off, put it into defensive awareness. But like I said, this is Brendan Gallagher. This is not uh, my, my ideal two-way forward build. Uh, athleticism. Acceleration 87, agility 87, balance 80, durability 79, endurance 81, and spe speed 87, and strength 77. This is probably one of the most balanced players I've ever built. Uh, the acceleration being 87 and his agility being 87 is plenty. Those are both great. I've rocked that with uh, playmakers before. I've done that. I've never done the speed at 87. Uh, I've always kept it for the most part for my builds at 90. But 87 isn't bad. You'll find it's okay. The big thing that's great about Brendan Gallagher is the fact that his balance and his strength are both quite high. You know, like balance at 80 and strength almost at 80. We're at 77. At, at uh, 5'9", 170 pounds, you're going to need that balance uh, in order to play well. And you'll find that he can actually stay on his feet. I don't think I got knocked down in the game I played. And I was playing with some big guys. Uh, I'll show you right now exactly what the game looked like. We'll see, you know, some of the plays that I was able to do, and you'll see exactly what I mean when I say I think you'll be okay with 83 deking. So let's pop over into the game, and I'll show you that. All right, so we'll take a look at the first uh, clip here that I have using Gallagher. Um, this is the second goal that I scored in the game, and probably the nicest one I scored. Uh, through the legs, backhand, forehand, around the computer goalie. So this is a computer goalie at this point. Uh, trying to make these saves. Unfortunately, <laughs> he was unable to deal with this move, as was the defenseman, who got absolutely dangled the shit out of. Uh, you guys will find that it was that his deking at that level is, is tons. That's all you need to pull those kinds of moves off. Obviously, the defenseman and the goalie both bite on it. But the second goal that we have here is actually a rather simple one, really easy. Uh, Gallagher comes in on the right wing. And it's just simple backhand. And this one is against a human goalie. So you're not going to be able to really pull a move like that off against a computer. But definitely against the human. Uh, typically with it, what I'll do is I'll go uh, forehand, backhand. On this move, though, I went just backhand and, and slid it beside the pad. So a pretty straightforward goal. Uh, really simple to pull off. And really there wasn't much to it. Here's another little playmaker play showing Gallagher's you know, playmaking ability in it. And that you can make some good passes with it. Uh... Here's the pass to the computer who's able to finish it over the goalie's shoulder. Uh, really simple play. Really easy to pull off as well. There you go. It's just straightforward hockey on that one. Uh, you'll see Gallagher stand. I stand behind the net waiting for the play to open up. Opens up. The computer is right there in front for the shot as he should be. And he puts it. And he makes no mistake putting it over the shoulder. So you guys will find that this is a really fun build to work with. There isn't... Uh, there isn't much that he can't do, really. Um, he's pretty all around, obviously. I should, like we went over all this already with the attributes. Uh, he's pretty all around. The good thing about him is how fast he is, and the fact that he's five foot nine and one hundred and seventy really makes him even faster. And then having you, the balance and strength uh, up as well, that really, really helps him fight off checks um, in terms of driving to the net and stuff. So I think you'll find that that's really nice being 5'9 five, five, and 170 and having that. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Again, put down in the comments below who you'd like to see uh, me do for uh, the next one. Make you know I'll try to get to through as many as I can. I can't promise everybody, but I'm going to do my darndest. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, don't forget to vote for the Be A GM Series 4. That wraps up May 21st for voting for second round. We'll do the finals after that. That'll be about a two-week process. And then uh, once we're done with uh, Carolina, we will move on to the winner of that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Target Audience. You guys have a good one.